Welcome back to Dirt Today Toda. Folks, today it's Phoenix Day. And I say that somberly because I suck at Phoenix. I don't. It's not my fault. It's the truck. Just kidding. It's the driver. I'm good with that. We got to fix it up. We got to go out there. We got to practice. We got to do some adjustments. Uh, I'm going to do a lap just to show you. I'll show you how bad the gear ratio is. And then we'll adjust it and see if we can't make it work for us on the track gonna be a minute we'll see you uh at qualifying you'll see the clip before qualifying but i'm recording all fluidly so you'll see me right before qualifying with the clip of the gear ratio thing and then at qualifying then the race zen victor not we're not ready for that all right so here are the gears we're gonna get out past pit road real quick yeah so here are the gears we'll give you the gears real quick and this is just awesome first gear Second is instant, third is instant, and then you get into fourth gear, okay? Which is fine, because with an engine like we have now, we technically could hit fourth gear and be fine. Just come around here. It doesn't matter. We're going to bring it back to pit road anyway. Oh, see, I dropped it in the third gear. I'll have to look at the recording to see where I did it, but naturally, it felt like we should have been able to go down to third gear. So now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the gear ratio, and we'll show you something hopefully a lot better all right this is gear ratio number four we're gonna start off in first quick second a little less quick third we're gonna we should be able to get it i'm hoping near around the 120 mark with ease yep okay so then fourth come into a corner like this as we're coming off the and then we're gonna hold it here up shift that works out, I guess, all right. Still there. I'm gonna come off clear. gas here. Downshift. Hold it. This is where we wanted the cork, though. On the third, going in one and two, the third gear. We might not need to downshift in three and four, but one and two are really important for us. If I come through here, though, even so, though, if I do this, it's just going to give me every opportunity to get on the gas. And as you can see, just gain on these other trucks. And I know for them, it's just before the that mark. For me, it's right at that mark that we come off. We get around to around 90, 94 miles an hour. Kind of just feather it around this corner and then go. This The reason why it matters so much is because when we were running this race in the, the lost season, we'll call it again. Anyway, we were running it during that time. We were so doggy. Hey, see, we can bring it all the way around. Anyway, we were so doggy that we couldn't get off of one and two or three and four without losing just a ton of time. Of course, nobody wants to deal with that. So, um, is the truck perfect? No. Am I patient enough to do it? No. Uh, you saw we were in the 28s, high 28s. So we're, we're there with time, uh, top 15, I'd say with time. I think we're above all the, all the triple digits at this point. We still have Presley, who's a winner, and Travis, who's a winner as well, Waffles. So those two will probably be faster. So maybe 15, 16 spot if we're lucky, which is hard for me to do anyway. So we'll see how we come out. I did make that one little adjustment to third gear, hoping it's a little bit longer for us, and that'll help us uh, downshifting in third to make it worth it to downshift in third. Three and four, I mean, not third gear. Third turn, three and four, the third turn. Anyway. All right, here we go. We're going to push it, so we're going in hard on this corner. Downshift. Hold it. Accelerate in third with some extra torque that we don't have if we only had the fourth gear. You can get it up a couple, about five miles an hour faster in third gear now, which is kind of good. Come off the gas. Downshift to help us. Now accelerate right away. Accelerate, or upshift, I mean. We'll see what that turned out as. Probably a 29. So, oh, 28.8. So there we go. 28.8 seems pretty good. I still think it's around that 16th place mark. Wow. It's almost like I pay attention, huh? Well, when I do, I do all right. So um, honestly, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being the truck that's faster than the other triple digit trucks. Because when I qualified in the lost videos, um, it was like 25th. And, I, and that was balls out. So... I feel like we uh, we left some on the table here in qualifying, and this is our setup for the race. So we're going to go ahead and 
roll the truck out onto the uh, track for the race and see if we can't do a little better than this qualifying time should say. Welcome to the Valley of the Sun in Phoenix International Raceway. This gem in the desert has been shining since 1964. With its unique design and beautiful surroundings, it's earned its reputation as one of the top visits on the circuit. Oh, not much to say. Short and sweet for them. Oh, I'm on the outside. That's probably a good thing. I'll start you in first gear. See, but you hear all them, and we're in third gear still. You hear all of them are sitting in fourth gear right now. Carlo. There. How that's going to pan out for me, I'm not really sure because I'm going to run this a little safe. Carlo. I would like to at least. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're all right. It's okay. It's going to be, we don't have to be psychotic. You know what I mean? We don't have to be crazy here. We're all right. You do it and that also helps us turn. But then we're able to get on it quicker and come out of the corner with more, more speed than we were before. That's for sure. Pickle going high. Take that. I think we could probably pass Karecki here. Uh, let's take a look. What do we have? We have 75 laps. 40. Okay, so it's a one-stop race. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Straighten up, straighten up. I, uh, I was willing to straighten him up, even though I ran him into the wall. Now that's what I get for searching through things while I'm driving. That was on me. Kind of a dick move, but I didn't mean to do it. So, you know, it's all good because I didn't mean it. Right, guys? Let's put a gap between us and the trucks behind us, hopefully. Sitting in 15th place is all of our sponsors. That would be very exciting for me. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, I got to really focus for a while here, guys. You're going to, we're cutting right to speed up right away here because otherwise I'll drive like crap. Wow, I just absolutely wasted this race. Carlo. Bought the apron as usual, and then we ended up freaking... Bought the apron. Got sucked onto the grass. Nothing I could do there. I did not turn up into that dude. If he wants to freaking run down on me, I'm going to flip him, apparently, but... I just, obviously, we'll be pitting. Obviously, we'll be starting at the back of the pack. Obviously, it's going to be a pain in the ass for us to get through everyone, but nothing I can do about it now. I'm going to do whatever I can to get back in the race. I can't. Frickin' apron, bro. Frickin' apron. That's me. All right, we uh, start off at the long, the end. Tail end of the longest line. Um... Fix the truck. Stay low. Still there. That was not us contacting. That was Setzer and the 264 truck hitting each other. Still there. Problem is with this track, especially, it's not a matter of just passing. All Still these there. trucks are actually pretty fast on this track. Oh, Setzer goes high. So for us to get what we need Still to get there. is probably going to take a minute. <laughs> Not again, Satan. Well, a little tight coming out of that corner. 
or loose or something that wasn't right. But whatever. You're all clear. Well, I'd like to get to the Everybody outside, maybe. Got McDonald in the wall. He's going to try to recover with traffic coming up on him. We're, uh, we're going to lose it. We're okay. Wow. Okay, guys. We're, uh, this is going to be a rough one. And <laughs> you try not to be frustrated, but it's very difficult not to be. You know, it's really funny. In the cup cars, I'm actually really, really good on this track. It's just the trucks, I'm not for some reason. Can't get it figured out. But anyway, let me uh, let me do a little focus on that. That'll be a good idea. Carlo, all clear. Carlo, all clear. That's her smoking. We're smoking. Why do I keep affecting myself by... Wow. Deeming just absolutely trashed me. Oh, this is... Wow, this is not where I want to be. Can I, like, get in front of Tate here? Clear high. There goes, uh, off. Clear low. All right, you know, the back end of my truck, uh... Looks like it just had one too many and got into a bar fight with a much bigger person, but oh well. Just trying to get back to the swing of things, hit our marks with what we have now, and uh, try to gain up on Schrader and Schneider and them. See what we can get out of it. Truck is all weird now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the truck is trash. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, we're going to just have to drive any way we can then. Caution comes out. We've got, uh, if we have under 42, we'll pit for the last time. I don't know. Picked up a few spots, but we've got damage as usual. Uh, how many laps are left in the race? I'll tell you after this caution. 47 laps to go, so whatever. This is about to be absolutely disgusting. Game wouldn't let me pit a second time, which uh, prevented me from doing what I needed to do. So now, yeah, we're in first place, but this is about to all go to hell in two seconds. One, zero. Whoa, bro. That was ridiculous. I don't know why dude thought that was okay, but okay. I was going to say that's going to happen. Well, good news we can pit and go full fuel now because we weren't able to pit again earlier and that screwed everything up so now we can pit and get our full fuel and be exactly where we're supposed to be we'll see you after the pit stop pit we got our fuel we come out we're still in third place so here we go Oh, I don't mind being behind all these guys. I mean, sitting in fifth place more than halfway through the race. I'm just going to try to hit our marks and not get absolutely passed and blown out by everybody here would be kind of nice. But I also have to realize that it could happen, you know. It could happen, hopefully a little slowly, but we don't have a truck to be up in fifth place, that's for sure.
We're just going to be either racing or speeding this up. I don't know, but I'm not really going to talk a lot because when I do, I really screw it up. All right, 20 laps to go. We've done fairly well to, uh, when I say that, I start talking, I immediately screw up. No, we've done fairly well to only give up a handful of spots. Uh, of course, Grafton is catching us. He'll pass us at some point. We'll do the best that we can to make sure it doesn't happen with ease for him, but we're also not going to fight him too much because we're lucky to be in the position we're in, and by getting away from traffic early on, that helped us out. Of course, now that we have these other trucks around us, we kind of have to pay attention more to what we're doing. But the fact that we're catching them means that we should be able to pass them, and hopefully with ease. Hopefully we don't have too much of a an issue. There goes Presley and Quapple, though. That's interesting. I didn't expect to see those two in a wall together. Get up past uh, the 237. A little scraping of the wall ourselves, but no big deal there. We're super loose if we're not on the gas, so that's obviously worrisome for me. Uh, here's Tate. No, this isn't Tate. This is um, Ratner. He's got uh, some damage to the front end, it looks like. No, I don't think that's damage. I think it's just the way that those Dodge bodies go. Or Toyota. <laughs> Toyota stickers on a Dodge body. It's all right. We made it look good. Ooh. Okay, I barely touched him. I don't know why that happened, but okay. Get it together. He's fine. Lap traffic obviously going to play a part in if we're able to get around or catch up to these guys like we are right now. Be able to potentially make some passes that we shouldn't be making, such as if we get around Hamilton or even Quapple here. Of course, this is pretty bunched up, so. I'll look waffle through here. We did get past Hamilton. So that was something. You're all clear. Uh, we got Presley up there, almost two seconds ahead. So that's not really a thing I'm thinking too much about. I also believe that Hamilton, now that he got around the lap traffic, is going to catch me. I have 15 to go. We'll come back with five to go. Let me focus around this area and try not to mess anything up too bad. I want to let that be known that he absolutely hit his brakes in that corner. We were... We were not even on the gas when that whole thing happened, so, uh, you know, I don't feel bad for it. Hopefully, yeah, I was going to say, hopefully we didn't hurt our radiator, but that was not something that we intentionally did. He just, we were in the corner, and we were all going basically the same speed. I hadn't got on the gas yet, and then he just slowed down, hit his brakes, I think, to avoid wobble, but I didn't see that. So the bump happened, and the run happened, and he's gone. So there it is. Back in just a moment. All right, five to go. Of course, we 
We spent a little bit of our front right. No big deal. We're all right. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, done what we could to hold off daughter and McDonald as we sit here in seventh place. Um, I, I was going to say I have no, no right being in seventh place, but being completely honest, I've maintained seventh place for 36 to 37 laps. So, or seventh place or above. Um, daughter and McDonald are catching us slowly. Hopefully we can do some nice stuff here to kind of maintain something here. Maybe, um, you know, obviously if they gain two tenths a lap, which is what they're doing, two, three tenths a lap, they're able to catch us. But as long as I hit one and two, right, it's usually pretty good for me to pull away. Also, if I could get in front of this lap traffic, It'd be really good for us because then I could maybe get them blocked behind it on the next two final laps. Two to go. So dive deep into this one to get in front of the 203. Didn't help because he didn't come down and they're, they're there. High. Shoot. I messed that up. I drove too deep, obviously, or broke too late. That was a whole thing, so... Uh, and then I couldn't bring it down here. We kind of ran out of tires. That's the problem there. <laughs> we didn't have anything left for him there with the tires. But I ever tell you I'm not a big fan of Bobby Dodder? I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just say, well, I didn't. I mean, I meant to hit him, but I didn't mean to slam him into the wall. I'll take it. Whatever. I don't think at this point. Bumps off of that. You come around here. Got to slow up. Get back on it. Yeah, we got nothing for him. We got nothing for McDonald, which sucks. But through some insane fortune that never, ever should have been, we actually came out with an eighth place finish. I mean, just crazy how that worked out. I don't even... Well, what happened was when we got our opportunity, we we maintained. I mean, if we weren't good enough, we wouldn't have been able to maintain up there. So we're good enough. We just, we're not, we weren't good enough to drive up there, but we were good enough to get up there and, and stay and only lose four spots from the restart because we started back in fourth or third, maybe. So we lost five spots total. It works out for us. I'll take it. Top five, Lance Norick, Dennis Setzer, Rick Crawford, Robert Presley, and Bobby Hamilton. We come into the eighth place. We'll take it. $8,383 in the bank. Pretty happy about that. After an outstanding race at Phoenix, Robert Presley is at the top in the standings. Looking good for the League Cup this year. In order to make a champ, well, that's why aren't we talking about me? We shouldn't. But what we also should talk about is how No Rick was able to pick up the win in the 90 No Rick Ford F 150 uh, truck. <laughs> Blah, blah. Good job for him. Well done. Not a big fan of no Rick, but, you know. Eighth place finish keeps us in 15th, just 11 points away from Rick Bickle. We could end up in 14th place if we do well in the next episode, which is also our final race at Homestead Miami Speedway. $375,000 there. I mean, whatever. We don't really care. We got our $100,000 bonus. We got 200 and yeah, 239. So as long as we end up with at least $20,000 in that race, we will have enough to max out the truck going into Daytona season two. Well, folks, that is going to do it for this episode. Wacky race there at Phoenix. Never thought we would have ended up with a top 10. Pitting did work. Obviously, early on, things weren't looking good for us as we dropped back with some damage after hitting the apron, getting sucked onto the grass and hitting the inside wall. Being able to recover from that, end up in a good position after pitting off cycle and then being able to get back on the pit road to fill it up and not have to pit again was a big deal for us as well. So we'll take that eighth place finish, though. That was another top 10 on the season. We'll walk away with this one with our sights set on Homestead Miami and a strong rookie finish. That is going to do it for this episode, though, folks. I do want to take a moment out to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And as always, until next time, take care.